WZZM. Alicia Smith stopped by to see this operation for herself, and this is a family-run business? Yes, it is. Herb Andler started it back in 1974, almost by accident, really. He was raising Morgan horses at the time, had about 30 of them, couldn't find any buyers. Just for the heck of it, he fixed up an old buggy left in someone's front yard. Lo and behold, a man came by and said he'd buy a horse if that buggy came with it. More than 30 years later, his carriage business is still going strong. Justin Carriage. From drilling to painting, from sawing to sewing, handcrafting a carriage from scratch can take months. And this end, try and cut that ride on an angle. But owner Herb Andler thrives on the challenge. He just finished his first miniature farm wagon. I get an idea in mind of what I want to build, and I build it, and then I take a picture of it, put it on my webpage, it's a new model, and then off them. They roll off the lot, if you will, about 100 of them a year. This is the fanciest thing I build. This is our limited edition, and that's our stagecoach. I love that. Much of his work can be seen in movies or on TV. This one's going to Vicksburg, Mississippi. Others are a tour guide's dream. This four-seat commercial Surrey seats 16 brass lamps optional. My favorite one is the wagonette break. His daughter takes the orders from funeral caissons to carriages for weddings. Uh, we've sold them to Disney. We've got them in Japan and at Disney, down in Florida at Disney. And we built a Shrek, an onion for Shrek, the garlic onion or whatever buggy for Shrek. For romance and elegance, there's the Cinderella carriage. This particular model is going to a woman in New Orleans who will be ordering more because some of hers were damaged in Katrina. 13 employees keep the operation humming, including Andler's son. We have our arguments like Orange County Chopper, but no, other than that, I love the guy. The office wall is covered with many of their carriages, but one customer asked for a new creation. Is this for hunting quail? This is for hunting quail. So how many Dick Cheney jokes have you had after you've made this? <laughs> It's every day. Every day is happening in here, yeah. You guys are the first ones to hear them. All joking aside, for $20,000, yes, you too can get this quail wagon, guns not included. A tape measure. If you can dream it, Herb can make it. They really had quite the operation. One of the Justin Carriage Company's carriages was used in Rosa Parks' funeral. They've also been in several movies, including The Crucible, The Little Princess, and Interview with the Vampire with Tom Cruise. So they're everywhere. Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman, you name it. He'll be flipping channels and go, ah, there's our carriage. They're beautiful, too. They really are. are. I mean, gorgeous workmanship. Beautifully crafted. And they do spend a lot of time to make them just right. So we've probably seen them if we've oh, I'm sure we have the Big Apple. Or That's right. Or Chicago, Disney. Yeah. Or, yeah. OK, thanks, thanks Alicia. Alicia. Very interesting. Well, stay with us. A live report from Dayton, Ohio is coming up next in sports. And the Union City uh, team tries to charge into the state volleyball finals. Ed Kongerski joins us after a short timeout.